Salam bir deyik ki, çox salıq yerimiz var, ayrılsınız. Ama bilirəm ki, çox maraqlı bir mevzudur. Mənim adı Ceyhun Afayətdir, mən incaçı direktoriyam. O, üçüncü seminarda artıq bizim biznesa məcəbədə və bu mənim bizə danışacaq. Bunu necə elə bilək var olan ki, asan işləyək və bir-birimizə dayanıqda olan güvəniyiz. Çox salıq bir deyik. Çox sağ olun Ceyhun, mən də təşəkkür edirəm dəvətiniz üçün və bu şansı yaratdığınız üçün. İnsanlara təşəkkür edirəm gəldiyiniz üçün, vaxt ayırdığınız üçün, çünki vaxt çox dəyərlidir. Bu hazırlıqlar zamanda bir teamwork yaşadıq, hazırlıqlar, hansı ki tez bir zamanda biz buranı normal və hazır hala gətirdik. Ona görə teamwork çox vacibdir bizim həyatımızda və siz indi Prezentasiya zamanı görəcəksiniz ki, nə dərəcədə vacibdir və teamwork üçün nə etmək lazımdır. Prezentasiya ingilis dilində olacaqdır, amma suallarınızı istəyənlər məhələ verə bilərsiniz. Azərbaycan dilində, rüs dilində, ingilis dilində problem deyil. Sizin üçün problem yox? Xeyf. Okey, so let's switch to English. My name is Elvin and uh, I'm a trainer at Azerbaijan Business Case Competition uh, since last year and before I used to participate in this competition. Uh, the topic itself is uh, really interesting for me and uh, uh, personally I choose topics to share, uh, topics which are uh, interesting to me and uh, which I enjoy to learn. And if I enjoy to learn, I, I enjoy to share it with you. and uh, and. I believe that it will be very uh, useful for you. Um, uh, I build up the uh, presentation in a very simple way and very structured way, uh, so that you can apply it uh, not only in a professional life, but in on, uh, personal life, uh, school education, etc. So teamwork is not about only career, teamwork is not about only studies, teamwork is a part of your life, teamwork is a part of your uh, both personal and professional life. We have a short video of uh, teamwork. shows how uh, how it's easy to make uh, to make a teamwork but then uh, how it's easy to to get the results so um, let's move on with presentation um, so we've done we've done a welcoming part and uh, I wish you to enjoy the session um, just a brief uh, rule of the session uh, you can interrupt me anytime and ask your question uh, so uh, we will uh, have two parts of session uh, with a small break in between the first and second part. Uh, also uh, make some uh, team building and we'll have small exercise for the team in the group uh, to apply the knowledge learned from the presentation. So, um, part one is about team. So, uh, the most important uh, thing is to understand that uh, people uh, people make a, uh, in, make a big Make an inevitable part of our lives. So pe people are uh, really uh, important in, in our day-to-day -day communication, in our day-to-day uh, -day, uh, activities, and the overall uh, achievement of, of our personal and professional goals. So mm, some uh, managers, some entrepreneurs underestimate the role of people, and when they think about about teamwork, they first of all uh, come up with some goals and etc. We need to do this. We need to do that. But first uh, part of this is people. Uh, you should uh, you should understand that people are uh, the key uh, players in this chain, and people who formulate teams and teams uh, for achieving goals. And this is a formula, a simple formula uh, for any organization, for any uh, activity uh, you, you can uh, face in this um, time. So, um, and together uh, the key uh, term is together everyone achieves more. So that's the team. Uh, for me personally, and uh, you will have a, uh, your unique chance for uh, stating what's team for you. For me personally, team is about uh, enjoying what you do, what you do and uh, getting what you do, what you desire. So uh, you uh, you achieve your dreams uh, through teamwork. Two sides of coin. Uh, we have uh, one goal, 
one organizational goal, let's say, uh, let, let's look at it from the organizational perspective, or uh, you're a participant of business case competition, you have one goal of winning the competition, and you have different people with different skills and with different priorities, personalities. So, uh, and you, uh, you haven't created people to be able to change change their personalities. You should, uh, you should be able to adapt and to utilize people, uh, to, to be able to work with them, okay? Uh, so this is the, uh, one side of coin, people are different, another side is goals, goal is one. So you should balance uh, between uh, your activities. Teams, uh, bec uh, team becomes team. Uh, so this is uh, the, one of the psychologists, Tuckman, uh, uh, proposed a model for leadership activities at certain stages of uh, formalizing groups. So uh, uh, you imagine yourself uh, at the beginning stage and you formulate your team uh, to engage for certain competition. Or you, uh, you are a new manager and you need to work with this team. Or you are a gr uh, group leader and uh, in your, at your university you need to manage people. So first of all, uh, this comes for forming. Uh, you form your team and of people. Uh, in, in one case you form it yourself, in other case it's already formed for you. So forming people it means bringing people together and um, giving some roles and responsibilities to people and understanding their roles. Next stage is storming when uh, when when when you are the captain of your uh, ship and but you have uh, lots of lots of uh, sailors and you need to uh, and you face storming. Storming it means uh, it's not in the absolute term. Storming it means. Uh, people start uh, storm you, uh, your ideas, so you, uh, people uh, may not accept you from the first stand of point, uh, saying that uh, I am enough competent to be in your place, I, am, uh, I will not uh, listen to your all, uh, all statements and etc. People may ignore you, people may uh, not uh, fulfill your uh, desires and etc. as a team leader. In such case, uh, you face storming. So, in, in this, uh, it's very uh, critical part of team formation uh, when you should clearly understand uh, what the people are thinking and uh, what uh, you should pass to them your uh, your desires, your wishes, uh, so that what what you want from them, what you want to achieve together, and you should uh, listen to them to to be able to find out. Uh, means to make the team more effective to have proper distribution of tasks. Well, let's say you have done some initial distribution of tasks, you will be doing purchasing side, you will be doing uh, invoices and etc. But you see that people are not confident and you, you need to you need to look uh, relook at your uh, relocation of tasks. This is storming. Norming part is when your team is uh, finally uh, a team and uh, when your team is operating um, when people uh, listen to it is other and then people um, accept you as a leader uh, when people accept. So this is no process is normalized, and you, you go as a normal way to achieve your task. Performing part, you need to think about uh, your performance, uh, increasing your performance, and uh, measure the performance of your team and how how you're uh, going on to, towards your goals. And adjourning is the last uh, one. Uh, Initially, there were there were uh, four only four uh, pillars in this uh, model, uh, but uh, the adjoining is the last one, which is about uh, okay, everything goes right, and uh, but you need to stop about and think um, think about future. So uh, let's say people people will be annoyed in in uh, after certain period doing certain uh, similar tasks. You need to think about relocating tasks. You need to think, think about moving some new people to the team and uh, allowing people from your team to move another team maybe to get a chance for further development so uh, a true uh, team player true team manager should be should always think about um, about the uh, development of team members as well okay sorry for disturbing I have a question at the last stage are you talking about changing the people or changing goals or priorities or projects or you're talking about changing the people this is mainly about your uh, resources uh, so people uh, humans okay yeah. so if we change a goal or we'll switch to other project with the same people 
Yeah, yeah. It's make break you to storming stages. Ah, got it. Okay, okay. What you make to storming stages? Mm -hmm. So this is uh, this is a very popular model and very simple model. Uh, when you face difficulties with your team as first times, uh, don't think that uh, your your lack of any competence, your lack of experience. This is similar uh, case for everyone in this world. So uh, just think about this structure, build this structure in your mind. Explain people uh, the difficulties. Uh, let's say, look, uh, we are in storming st uh, stage, so I really understand you, but you should understand me as well, so we have a common goal, and etc. So uh, the question for audience is uh, a tendency to behave, uh, contribute, and interrelate with others in a particular way. Uh, in, in one term, how would you describe this? What this definition is for? Please. Oh, you have to be tolerant and to find a way like for communication. Yeah, this yeah. is a good and uh, best one of the best features for your mm -hmm. team players. But um, what I'm asking is about tendency to behave. In, in one word, how would you uh, de determine this? What I'm behave talking about? Tolerant. Behavior. Behavior, right? Tolerance. Tolerance. Okay. Next opinion. So basically, it's about. Uh, Team role, so a tendency to behave, uh, to behave with people, a tendency to contribute, uh, to contribute to the task and to make something for the common sake, and a tendency for uh, interrelations with, with people is called uh, team role. So team role, uh, and our first part is about much more about, about understanding team roles and understanding team, and next part is about thinking about growing your team how you can be better perform. Team roles are, uh, there, is a, there is a famous uh, classification of team roles based on Belvin's uh, team roles model. Uh, first uh, one is action, action related. We have three types of uh, team role um, classification. Action related, uh, people related, and thought related. Uh, so first one is action related. So based on actions, uh, Belbin um, uh, describes people as shapers, uh, implementers, and completers or finishers. Who can say, how do you think about shaper? I'm sorry, what is shaper? You mean shaping the pencil or something? Uh, no, this is, more, this is not in absolute terms, this is about people. Uh, so shaping, so like producing something. something. Creating, so creating new product. Ideas maybe, giving, giving ideas or like sh shape in uh, um, on the other's behavior maybe. Yeah, shaping is more about, this is a type of, uh, so people uh, make some actions, right? Based on their actioning style, uh, there are three types of people uh, who are shapers, implementers, and completers, and finish, completers or finishers. So shapers uh, basically shape the team. Shapers are uh, sparks in the team. They shape, uh, they help people to get, uh, to get, um, they understand the emotions of people and they help the people to get in, in, uh, motiv motivated and uh, they are like, uh, and, and take some actions. So they shape the team, uh, they motivate people, uh, push them to take some actions and push them to think about some goals. Implementers, uh, shapers uh, can bring some ideas about doing this in such way and doing it in another way. Implementers are people who really implement, and this is a very common in our life. In some cases, uh, some people just give ideas. Uh, they don't uh, really uh, show any uh, hard work with implementation. And some, and this uh, implementers are real implementers, and uh, we shouldn't uh, underestimate their role in our team. So. Maybe they, do, they are doing some uh, transactional work, but it's still uh, a great work for us uh, because without any uh, small bits and pieces, we can build uh, the overall uh, value. And completers finishes are people who basically check, uh, who summarize and uh, who analyze, and they try to, uh, to ensure that everything is in place and everything is completed. And um, so it's very important to have um, Completed finisher. Let's say you're preparing at some presentation uh, for your uh, for your team, and everyone is engaged in his section, and uh, everyone is thinking about this is my finest part. I'm talking about sales, 
next course is about introduction, etc. But uh, completer uh, needs to uh, observe all people, observe the work done, and uh, bring everything together and uh, think about uh, is it a complete picture? Uh, is it a complete picture you want to show to uh, the audience or not? So uh, try to have uh, this type of person in your team. Of if you are not having it, try to be yourself the completer finisher. Put aside some time for reviewing it and uh, looking at different perspectives. Uh, and uh, next classification is about uh, people, uh, people themselves. Um, some people are coordinators, uh, some people are team workers, and some people are resource investigators. When we say people, uh, actions, uh, this is what we are doing. People uh, means uh, who is doing what and who, who, with whom we are doing this uh, stuff. So, uh, who, who is doing so? Who is doing what? What we are doing is about action, and who is doing what? We talked about action. So, uh, coordinators are people who who, who are very uh, dynamic and. Who go through, uh, through the process, who talk to people, who coordinate, and who try to uh, uh, interrelate them. Team workers are uh, again uh, more about uh, work side, more about uh, contribution, technical contribution to the work, uh, more about fulfillment of uh, actions. A resource investigator is a person who thinks that uh, we don't, uh, we, who looks at resources. He thinks about some outsourcing. It thinks about whom we can bring else or to help us, whom we can uh, listen uh, to take some view and etc. Uh, let's take an example of, uh, let's again, presentation teamwork. And uh, you can invite um, someone to listen to you and uh, to tell you some feedback uh, on this, uh, to, get, uh, to get a real valuable feedback. Um, any questions on this? What kind of coordinators can't be in the teamwork? A uh, team worker is, uh, I'm doing this, I'm a team worker. The coordinator is coordinating how, uh, approaching everyone, how are you doing, uh, can we finish it today, and etc. So coordinating is more about coordinating, but it doesn't mean that he, he, he's running through the office all day, or he's sitting in, the, in this, uh, behind in the, confi the computer and working too. For example, right now I'm working as a coordinator at the one company and uh, I think that our work is uh, also teamwork and uh, I'm also a team worker. What yeah, this is, uh, so people are different and your, your view of uh, teamwork is different from Belgium's view. But um, team worker, uh, all of the people are team workers, but in this term team worker means more about performing actual uh, technical part of work, actual more, uh, more robust part of work and etc. Some people are assault oriented, so uh, plant, uh, when we say plant, uh, don't just imagine some fabric and plant asset. Plant is about person who gives uh, really uh, creative ideas, who, who, who, who, who is, uh, thinks differently and uh, uh, continuously uh, contributes to the teamwork with new ideas, with new uh, plans and etc. So this is a, uh, some engine of the team who who continuously thinks about uh, innovation. Evaluator is a person who evaluates and monitors this. And specialist is a person who gives uh, competent, experienced specialist uh, view. So uh, let's say you have some experienced person, person uh, working in your team, he always can give you some uh, specialist view on that if you're new. So uh, if we summarize this, uh, so So how thoughts are about how we are doing this. So in the how uh, we are doing this. So uh, this is more clear summary of uh, what we have said. Told about uh, when you form your team, uh, think about what we are doing, uh, who with whom I'm working, who will be doing this stuff, and. 
uh, how we will be doing it. So uh, think about uh, thoughts, uh, actions, people and souls. Do they grow somehow interrelated? I mean, can planter be a shaper and coordinator? Yeah, exactly. So they are... Yeah, okay, okay. this uh, just view from different perspectives. Uh, so if from action perspective, we can have three types of people. In some, uh, and this psychologist made some observations in certain areas of business mm. and he came up with this, uh, this classification. So uh, from action perspective, we have three types. So from people perspective, people, uh, they are different and etc. So they are, uh, you can be also both uh, planned, you can be a shaper, mm. you can be a team worker and planned. So. But it doesn't matter that planter is always a shaper of the book and he coordinates all, all the book. Or it's usually not that all. It, it depends on, on situations. Or so now I have a small exercise for you. Mm. Um, we have an upcoming interesting video and, and some other uh, slides. But before we can, uh, we can take a breath and uh, make some exercise just for five minutes. Uh, so. Uh, and it will be about teamwork, so people sitting together, maybe three or two people. Uh, uh, I'm passing you blank sheets of paper, and uh, you will, uh, better to have three people in one team. You will, you will need to, uh, to draw me what, so I say you team, what first comes to your mind, so how do you imagine team? Don't make some complicated pictures and etc. Just in simple way, I say team, what? What first comes to your mind, okay? So you you have lots of people in your team? Okay. Just team work then, we can talk about it. So guys, uh, don't need too much of work, just do all some things. What a crazy tool. So I'm taking your papers. Can I take it? Okay, one second. <laughs> Let's start with this thing. Uh, we, will, we will just look at pictures uh, for the fun sake and then we will talk about uh, your teamwork. Uh, just exercise, you just perform. So, uh, team named uh, M7. So you, this gentleman, uh, they put people, purpose, motivation in car, and some bull uh, pulling the car, uh, pulling the vehicle. So how do you explain this? Why, uh, why the car comes to your mind first? Firstly, when we, when we say about teamwork, because, uh, construction of the car, for example. Is coordinator and uh, other uh, constructions uh, uh, help. So this is a system. Uh, system consists of certain parts which together move the car. They have one goal and they are running together. Yeah, this is this is some uh, older version of this teamwork which comes from. Uh, centuries ago and this is a new version <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, so great work uh, yeah. so we can upload people uh, and uh, remember that remember pictures we will vote for them um, 
So this is first one. Okay. Uh, next picture. Team named uh, New, right? So uh, this is more uh, business style, more corporate style, and uh, people uh, were put here uh, some chain a chain of activities, uh, chain of departments: uh, sales, IT, HR, finance, PR, and etc. What's in the middle? Uh, in the middle, they have management directors, big bosses, right? Yeah. So you could draw some so. fat. Very interesting. Um, so your idea is about uh, is more about corporations how uh, they uh, yes. operate. So they every each department makes own contribution to the goal, which is the uh, maximizing shareholder value, maximizing money in the pockets of shareholders. So <laughs> really good. Um, next one is about uh, uh, people uh, team named uh, Team STG. They started uh, pulling down some essays, uh, but uh, I stopped him in the right time, <laughs> asking for picture. So, um, there is a quadrangle uh, with uh, goal. Is it sun or...? Yeah, it's just a white goal. So, people around, idea, implementer, uh, shaper, motivator, and they're all around. So, this is... Um, way just to understand that all team members are very significant in the uh, original scope. Yeah, this in this way, very good idea. Mm. So, uh, we start with $200 auction. <laughs> um, next one is uh, about uh, smart team. How are you? Just comes from uh, Kobustan or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Result, share, shared, sold, smart team, and only five people. So remember, five people are form smart team. No more, no less. So, uh, very good. Uh, they have a, a, how do you call it? Like the first person you have a complete feature. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a good example. So, teamwork is not about the corporation. So, um, I'm very impressed uh, <laughs> with this picture. <laughs> so uh, it's Fantastic Fours, and uh, this one of them is invisible. invisible. Okay. So it's four euros. Each euro has own skills and own abilities and own roles. Okay. Uh, so and as a group, as a team, uh, they like uh, doing like common work, and as a, uh, uh, for for them to achieve some uh, common result. It's a hero, like. From the, Hero. from the movie. From the movie, yeah. And this one is this more one about is both. bodybuilding. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I thought that the first guy is implementer and it's burning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're pushing him to improve. <laughs> and third one is sleeping at home. Right? Yeah, he's yeah. invisible. He's invisible. In, in the office, right. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that, that, that guy is implementer. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so uh, let's just... Uh, Make uploads, maybe express. Uh, so, uh, what the aim of this exercise? And twelve points goes. To yeah, and twelve <laughs> points <laughs> goes to all twelve people sitting here. <laughs> First of all, to show you that people, uh, people are different. People are the people think different, and people in uh, make different inputs to the timbers. How do you feel? Uh, did you feel some uh, difference in your roles while you were doing some timber? Uh, so how many, uh, let's say, how many implementers did we have here? Just can you raise your hands if you think that you were the implementer? If you haven't implemented anything, how we come up with these pictures? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure that we had implemented at least one in at each team. So courage is kissing to express. Uh, implementing is not about, uh, it's not, it's a shame to be implemented. It's, it's a real uh, contributor to the teamwork, and uh, much of appreciation comes to implementers at the end of the day. Uh, performer, uh, implementer. Uh, I, I I've seen some coordinators, lots of coordinators. Uh, so lots of people in Azerbaijan just coordinating. <laughs> <laughs> better to do this, and when it comes to doing real work, uh, it's a bit hard. Uh, but I'm not uh, <laughs> talking about you. Uh, so, uh, we had uh, 
other types of uh, roles, uh, maybe uh, few people were uh, brainstorming, few, uh, but it's very important to give some ideas. Uh, uh, like in the uh, intellectual game, Stolgekagda, uh, you should always uh, just don't think that it will be, uh, it, it's not real, it will, it, it, it, people may not like this. Put your ideas on the table and uh, say your ideas. Uh, in some uh, some really famous ideas, crazy ideas, always come uh, uh, not expectedly. So, uh, like in case of uh, Apple and Steve Jobs, uh, naming company Apple and putting logo. Uh, so, um, this is a good exercise for you. Before uh, before break, uh, the second part. Uh, I'm very excited about the second part of the presentation. We'll have very uh, short but very uh, uh, interesting video uh, from one of the uh, world famous companies, how they were recruiting people uh, in, in the original way, how they were understanding that this person will fit the overall teamwork. And the idea itself is very creative. Before we move on with uh, this part, we, we have some summary on team building activities and we have a short break. Um, Team building activities are uh, good for people uh, in terms of improving communication uh, at your teams, uh, uh, boosting morale and motivation of people and uh, letting people to know each other. So if it doesn't matter you are a team leader, it doesn't matter you are a captain, you are uh, you are a good guy, you are a champion, you are a part of team and uh, try to be a part of team building. So uh, always make your own contribution to the team building with your ideas, with your at least with your participation, uh, because it creates uh, overall team spirit. You work uh, uh, uh, more 200 days, maybe uh, a year, and uh, sometimes you need a break and with your team, and you need to think about your team building, you, because you you don't know people uh, people's personality uh, fully uh, at your work time. So. Uh, teamwork, team building leads to productivity and success. And the team building, when you are out of office with the same people, what is the advice to, to not to mention any work issues or to talk about that in relaxed uh, From my personal experience, uh, I've seen these both types of team, team mm -hmm. building, people call it this team building, but uh, when you mix work uh, with your uh, event, in, uh, it ca becomes a uh, team workshop uh, for me. It's a uh, bad workshop, but uh, you still put some targets for people, you still put, uh, talk about plans. It's it's a team workshop, not real team building events for me personally. So team building is much more about uh, getting a side of work. Uh, but people may think different. Uh, Next part, uh, team charters. Uh, it seems uh, from the first uh, point of view, uh, look, it seems a bit boring about uh, documentation, about uh, laws and etc. But uh, team charter is a uh, very important idea for you to know. Team charters are um, a structured way of putting your team goals, missions, and um, roles and responsibilities of people, uh, resources, operations in the uh, some structured way, structured form. So, if you form a team, have a, your team charter. Team charter uh, says you about your know, what uh, context. So, uh, what uh, what's the context? What's the problem uh, you're trying to fix? Uh, why you are together? Uh, mission, uh, mission of objectives. What you're trying to achieve by doing this common work. Roles, who will be doing what, and in which way, resources, how many people we have, uh, do we have stationary, do we have equipment, and etc. Uh, operations, uh, how many hours will we be working, um, who will be working the night shift, morning shift, and etc. Mm, negotiations and agreement, it's about more about team leader to negotiate with sponsors, supporters, about more resources uh, for the team, and about negotiating with team members on their uh, uh, work allocation and etc. So, um, uh, trying to uh, persuade people at the same time keep them happy. So, this is overall team charter. So, if you uh, hear this term team charter, just know what's it, what's it about and uh, try to have. You don't need to just um, have hundreds of pages of team charter. Put it simple and put it uh, comprehensive. Failing uh, the team charter is about planning. So, if you fail to plan. You, 
you're planning to fail. This is a very common uh, quote. Inbox or in-tray assessment, a very uh, popular term in, in the Western world. Many companies face the same problem. They hire people, but people fail to do a job. Uh, mm, also, people were very good at interview. They have a really strong background. They are uh, they answered perfectly to all interview questions. But when it comes to the real work, they fail to perform work. And you think about the lost uh, time, you think about the lost resources you invested to hire this person. So how to uh, avoid this? Uh, um, there is a suggestion about inbox and or in-tray assessment when you put this person in some real business simulation and when you put this person uh, in, in some real business case in most of cases you face so you face some business difficulty and that's why you're hiring this person uh, pull out some basket of uh, activities maybe print out your emails uh, of negotiations print, uh, if you have some confidential information just change it it's not a problem pull out some uh, other people he will be working for working with um, and uh, try to build a scenario uh, he will be facing tomorrow when he comes at work and uh, for yourself map out the correct uh, course of actions. Uh, so how do you expect this person to behave in this uh, environment? So you know to be able to um, test your assessment to be able to evaluate this person. So um, uh, failing uh, to hire right people is a key thing, uh, key problem for corporations, for companies for any organizations. So, uh, and uh, this is, there is a real, uh, real case uh, from Heineken. Uh, maybe you have seen this video uh, in the internet. Uh, they were hiring a person for the marketing department, and they put this person for some uh, certain environments, uh, for certain unexpected situations. The person wasn't expected this. And the person, you can come to interview and say that I am passionate about this job. But in this situation, they see your real passion, they see your real uh, uh, hard work. So, because sports is my passion. I'm very passionate about football. I really like a football. When you are looking for a job or an interview, in the brush. You look good. You feel good.
video, I, I enjoy watching it again and again. So this shows that uh, person, people said, I'm enthusiastic, I'm passionate, and I said, when it comes to real case, they uh, they lose themselves. They uh, don't don't show this real um, character, the real nature of personality. So this is about entry and in, uh, inbox assessment of people when you uh, pull them out uh, to, to your team. So uh, and we have uh, another uh, good video as well. So let's um, for related to another model. Uh, let's talk about grow model of uh, team. Uh, when I said the first part was about uh, formulating your team and team members, as the second part is about seeing how you can grow your team. You, sh you should be a true leader, your true coach of your team. Leaders, uh, leaders should think about development of people and uh, about coaching people. Uh, because development of people is development of team and uh, realization of goals. So, grow model suggests to have, uh, when, when you uh, have some coaching experience with person, you should they, uh, you should talk to person, identify his goal. Uh, so let's say, um, in, uh, what's your goal in this organization? Uh, he said, I want to become a uh, operations manager. Uh, this is my goal. What's your current reality? What you're doing right now? Um, so it's uh, sometimes people miss this point, but it's very important to identify your current start point in order to able to get your way. So uh, right now, let's say he's doing. Uh, some analytical work in, in the organization. What options do you have uh, in the reality? So which type of options? You have option to stay in this department, um, uh, move the straight, straight career path, or you can move to another team and then come back to this team. Uh, you can stay another two years with analytical role. You can switch to another role and real evaluation and will. Uh, Will you do it? So this is about getting commitment from person uh, that he will take these actions to achieve this, to underway this uh, for this goal. So the grow model itself is very useful model for uh, coaches, uh, or people who coach pe uh, people, and uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should be manager or uh, senior or vice president to be able to coach people. You can coach your um, younger sister. You can coach your. Uh, friend, uh, you can coach your uh, even teammate at your work, university, coaching if you have something to share if you and if you are able to share it, uh, just do it. Uh, it's, it gives a um, very uh, real uh, sense of satisfaction, self-fulfillment and, and you just enjoy it. Um, the tips for coaching are uh, practicing it uh, for yourself, so this model for yours, put it for yourself and think about how you react. And uh, when you talk to people, ask uh, good, great questions, not just for the sake of asking questions, and uh, be able to listen to them. And uh, in most of uh, tips uh, I looked at, there is a be able to listen to people. Listen, uh, listening uh, should be uh, real listening. So, uh, there are, and it's not about uh, if you, if you don't have any uh, time, passion. Uh, it's um, or you you don't you are not used to listen carefully. Uh, there are some techniques, tools, uh, in psychology tools, uh, etc. You can work on and, and uh, achieve this. So remember grow model uh, for coaching for people. Uh, next one is, uh, and we should have the re video related to this uh, about MBWA uh, model. Uh, MBWA stands for management by wandering around. So this was firstly implemented by Helvet and Packard, HP, and uh, then what was shared with wider um, companies, with wider audience. What they have done is, um, uh, imagine your manager uh, or imagine your uh, teacher, lecturer, etc., sitting in his desk and overloaded with work. You come and uh, he says, "I don't have time. Uh, you should come another time." And I'm overloaded. Just do it. Uh, then I show. Then show me, and etc. It's not a uh, um, part of this approach. This approach about if you want a real achievement, if you want a real success, you need to uh, stand up, go around, uh, and wander around. So talk people. You should you should be relaxed first of all, because a working environment or any activity environment is about uh, some. Um, People uh, be based on the workload and etc. People get uh, nervous and people 
even uh, when you uh, approach them, if you are not enough relaxed, uh, they will uh, show the same approach, uh, the same attitude to you. You should chill out, you should relax and give some positive energy to them. And you should chat with them, not official talks, let's say, okay, what's your plan for this year? Uh, do you plan to do uh, target 80% uh, savings and etc. This is not a way of doing this. This is, uh, you should chat, it, uh, chat with them in some uh, relaxed environment, not only in the desk, but in some coffee area and etc. You should try to understand how are you doing today? Uh, any prog uh, uh, what about your family and etc. You should uh, show the person that you care about the personal life of the uh, um, of your employee, and that's the thing I learned from uh, from my manager. So he, he always says that uh, I don't need you to become very depressed and uh, do it uh, in the robotic way because you will not do it in an excellent way. If you, if I'm if I want to do it, you if you I want you to do it in an excellent way. Uh, I need you to be in the energized. I want you to be uh, motivated to do this. So if you have got some personal problems, uh, try to, uh, I'm, I will try to help you and I will to understand you. So uh, by talking to people, you can learn small uh, things, problems. You can um, small bits and pieces of your overall picture, which uh, can help you to to solve fix overall issues. So uh, in some uh, organizations, they even uh, call uh, technical. Uh, Staff, admin staff, uh, management calls them and listens to them. What types of problems do you see in our organization? And this uh, this is a good way of uh, getting some ideas. And because uh, when you stay uh, on the managerial level, you can't see all the uh, details people bring. So learn about issues uh, before they become problems. Uh, motivate people, increase their productivity, and. Um, know your people better and your team and working environment. So uh, let's uh, final slides on uh, motivation factors, um, Herzberg motivation factors. So uh, Kissing is here to understand, uh, he, they have, he has done some research and identified factors uh, making people satisfied and factors making people dissatisfied. So achievements, recognition, uh, growth, status, um, advancement, hospitality, sorry, status is here, they make people satisfied in most of cases. Salary, uh, workload, uh, supervision, relations of supervisors to personnel keeps people dissatisfied in most cases. So, And the key uh, formula for this model is uh, to, uh, to understand to understand the separation between them, uh, them because uh, by uh, fixing this uh, you don't gain satisfaction. You first fix, fix problems um, and then switch to uh, creating these opportunities for people. So uh, not only fixing problems, but you should do something else to satisfy people. You should uh, ask your team members, you should be able to delegate uh, tasks in the polite and in the um, good manner and in normal way so that you can get them implemented. Delegation should be in a win-win situation so that if you have, uh, let's say, if I delegate some part of my presentation to someone, uh, I should ask myself, will, will it uh, give him something? Will it improve his presentation skills? Will it uh, create him opportunities to speak uh, out and etc. So if you are delegating, try to uh, get people know that by doing this, you will uh, learn something, you will improve your certain skills and etc. This is something psychological. Consider future. Uh, if you are doing this um, continuously, in the future you will need this assistance. You definitely need to start delegation. But if you are doing this one time, um, uh, you should ask question, do I need to spend time for coaching him how to do this or I can do it quickly. Okay. And set up expectations at the beginning so that uh, people uh, know what you're expecting. Uh, people know what you're expecting. And uh, provide support. Uh, so this is not only about giving tasks. Uh, you, can, you should provide resources. You should be able to open uh, for any further questions. Uh, and uh, this person can sometimes disturb you uh, asking some questions because he's new, he hasn't done this before, or uh, the task is a bit complicated, etc. So, uh, uh, I guess this is that. Yes, this is the last uh, informative slide uh, about uh, matching tasks and people. Um, by uh, 
will talk about the four dimensions in relational work. Uh, there are people who influence, uh, there are people who make interpersonal facilitation, uh, people who are creative and people who, who are leaders. Who are leading. So influencing people uh, influence you uh, by positive energy, by uh, ideas, uh, they push you to say, let's say, um, I have got this idea, let's get it done together and etc. They influence you, they try to persuade you. But the um, difference between influence and team leadership, influencer may seek uh, fulfillment of its own goals uh, when the team leader thinks about team goals. Uh, interpersonal facilitation is when uh, I see myself in this role as well sometimes. When, when you try to um, link the chain of people, when you try to uh, adapt and to help people uh, to get together to, to, uh, and facilitate their uh, uh, you're, you're, you're just a missing point in this chain you have I mean, your real creativity and relation creativity is when, when you bring some ideas creativity and team leadership when you lead the team um, Jim, we were talking about uh, dimensions and relations to work mm -hmm. people are uh, Pure influencers who influence you to get, maybe get their own ideas to, do, to be done. But uh, team leaders are uh, fulfilling ideas of team. Uh, interpersonal facilitators uh, playing the uh, intermediate role between uh, people, and they are missing chain, uh, missing point in the chain. And th there are people who are uh, different, and you see them; they, are, they have some creative ideas. And uh, my last. Uh, before we uh, move to conclusion video, uh, my last um, recommendation for you, uh, my, uh, this is something comes from my own observations, um, you may share it or not, but uh, they are uh, quite uh, easy to understand. Uh, know your people, uh, know, know the people you will be working with. Uh, let's, I can give you an example. Uh, I was uh, form, uh, Let's say uh, you're uh, trying to pl play a football and uh, you get a team of people. You should know all of them to be able to, to show a good uh, teamwork. Uh, you're pulling out team for a uh, competition. You should know people, uh, their uh, real um, personality and skills. You should recognize and appreciate. Um, appreciation is kissing and recognition. If, if you don't recognize uh, people's achievements, yeah, if you don't appreciate them, if you don't say thank you in time, uh, it gives uh, some this demotivation for people. It gives um, uh, some feeling of uh, dissatisfaction, and uh, and it's uh, I I see that it's uh, it's your responsibility as a team manager, team leader, to be able to uh, recognize and appreciate people in time. Keep it uh, in the agenda. So people sometimes may uh, evade this, avoid this. People sometimes may lose the control, lose the uh, idea of your uh, goal. Uh, uh, continuously remind them the goal of organizations in, in any way you can, but uh, keep the main thing, main thing. So this is what you are here to do, and this is what you will be asking for at the end of the day. Uh, this is my rec these are my recommendations. Um, we can watch the video, and then we can move on to your uh, questions.
what I like here is uh, this become my motto: either magnify your uh, skills or modify your dreams. So if you're dreaming about something, uh, you should uh, improve your skills to achieve it, or you should uh, change your dreams uh, to make them more achievable. Um, I would like to thank you all for listening for your time, I, and I hope you enjoyed it, um, and hope you will benefit it from practicing. Uh, in, from most of the, our uh, trainings and sessions, we go home and uh, forget everything. But you should be able to practice it. Uh, you should reflect ideas and practice, practice and practice. And I wish you good luck uh, with all of this. If you have any questions, you can ask. If not, we can uh, share this presentation with you. And you, uh, if any questions, you can email me anytime. Okay? Thank you very much. Uh, one more thing is uh, about, uh, I would like to make some brief announcement about business case competition. Uh, maybe some of you applied, but this is a real, um, a real chance for you. Um, what's a business case about? A business case is about, uh, this is competition uh, which is held annually. And some of the, these people were participating, and uh, they can share their own feelings. You come and you, uh, you learn how to analyze business cases. More, most often they are Harvard-based, Harvard Business School business cases. Uh, trainers help you to analyze. You, you show a great teamwork. You make your presentations throughout four weeks of trainings. Uh, five week, fifth week is about mock round. We we'll see how you're performing and allocate you to groups. And the sixth week is about the real time for you to show your uh, teamwork in, in front of uh, judges from uh, senior people, uh, CEOs, managers from our sponsor companies, uh, which you can see there, BP, ExxonMobil, Badlan Group, Pasha, as I said. Business case gives you opportunity for uh, in, uh, networking, business networking, employment, uh, scholarships, uh, personal development, and of course, uh, this is the... Uh, good for you to have in your uh, background business. Winners or business case are uh, really um, recognized uh, during any job interviews and etc. So uh, this, uh, I uh, urge you to apply for it. Uh, deadline is 21st of October. Uh, what you need is just, you don't need any business ideas, you don't need any, uh, you just need your team of four people, uh, send your uh, names, surnames, emails and contact, contacts. Uh, and then you will be interviewed. If you're uh, able to pass interview, you, you're uh, the lucky team um, and you move on with your business competition. Okay? Man, uh, Sintiabrın birinde geldi ve ben geçen iller bu business case competition'dan yani haberim vardı ama işim içinde değildim. Ve bu yıl biz bir neçe kurumla danışandık ki biz bu ilde başlayırız bunu yapacağız. Ben sadece təzə adam olarak soruşurdum ki, biznes için bu, burada iştirak eləmək, gəlmək, jüridə oturmaq, vaxt səhv eləmək maraqımız nədir? Onlar dediler ki, biz, bizim için bizdə kadr qıtlığı var və biz istəyirik bir başa görə bizim tələbələr, cavan nəsil nə ilə gələcək, hansı ideyalarına, nə amalikdirlər. Onun için bu çok güzel şansdır sizin için görsetmek, siz öğrenmek bir tarafından ve görsetmek siz neye kadirsiniz. Onun için ki sabah, müəllim deyin, deyin kimi, bunlar sizin potensial employerlarınızdır. Ve onlar görmek istiyorlar, təzə nesil neye kadirdir. And uh, I would like to show you the, uh, some sample business case. Uh, this is about Airbus launching it. Uh, this was implemented last year uh, uh, in one of the trainings. Airbus developing its uh, world largest commercial jet uh, airplane. So the question is, uh, Airbus should uh, should the Airbus go ahead with these projects or not? So this uh, there are some uh, there is uh, some uh, background information, uh, financial information at the uh, on the last pages, um, and some uh, some ideas about what does it look like? Uh, is it uh, is it for uh, Niche, some certain niche in the market is for big uh, population and etc. So uh, we don't uh, need any new business ideas etc. You just need to analyze cases to be able to analyze, make decisions and present it in front of uh, professional people. Thank you very much and I wish good luck. Um, in case you would like to apply for business case, uh, send it to email.
info abc at aeo.org to us email. And uh, any questions are always welcome. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.